Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own gaming website with Unbought Games. This is a remake of my first ever series, so hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, share, subscribe, and let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys want to do is go to sites.google.com, link in the description, and you want to, when you open this up, you want to click the blank site right here. After you click the blank site, you would pop up to this screen right here. You would probably be confused if you haven't used Google Sites yet. Well, I'm going to help you out. Right here, you want to put in your site name. I'm gonna name mine Nebula. And now you want to add an image and add a, or an add a logo for your website. So upload your logo. If you don't are if you don't have one, then you can design one. And now we have those done. So the next thing I want to do is our home page. First thing I want to do is make the header the whole cover. So when you're on the home page, it'll be the whole entire thing. And this this background right here would be a different background. So if you go to images, image right here, click upload. And you pick your um, image for the background. It, it would probably look nice because I know you guys have a good taste of I know you guys have a good taste of wallpapers. Okay. So, next thing you want to do is you can add a nice header right here. Name this Nebula. And then add a cool font. No, that's not what we're going to do today. We're going to go on to Tech Studio. TechStudio.com. By the way, this is all in the link in the description. And then any of these genres you can pick. I like the graffitis in my opinion. And then if you don't like any of these right here, you want to click on more results. And then now here, you can scroll and see all of these right here. And pick one that you really like. And uh, I'm going to pick, uh, my favorite one here is probably, well, they added new ones in here. Um, trying to find it. Right here, Block. Block is my favorite one. And then right here, you want to put your site name. Oh, so ask me to, no. It might ask you all of that, just ignore it. You want to put your site name. See? My three here is not going to work, so I'm not going to use this one. I want one that actually works with my three. So, I'm going to try this one. No, they still don't work. I'm going to keep on looking. If you guys want to, you guys can skip this part. Uh, I'm going to try this one. Yes, yeah, so my three here works. I'm going to do Neb. Nebula. Oh, I'm supposed to. Nebula. And let's change up it right here. You go to styles, you can change the color. I'm going to change it to like kind of a purplish. Take off the pattern. And what if we just add our own pattern instead? Um, let's add our, the, the one that we have for our background. And then I'm going to upload the image as a PNG with transparent because I do not want a wallpaper. Now, that after you have that, you want to leave this. You want to delete this one right here. You don't want that basic text box. You want to click on images right here in the corner, upload, and then upload your text right here. Put it in. Uh, where the um, sorry, where the images and just make it bigger. That see how it's a little messed up on the edges. Just use this right here, 
and fix it up. Not trampling it. And there you go. Now it's in the middle. Now the second thing we're going to add to our home page is a search bar. So you want to go site.google.com slash view slash site g c uh this would be link in the description anything any what's that i go in here is link in the description so you see this search bar right here this search bar right there we're gonna put it into our website so you want to you want to go to google site solutions on the top and then you want to click on the search bar for Google Sites. You want to scroll down. It's going to give you some instructions here and all that. But I'm going to be showing you how. You want to click on Get Code. And right here would give you all the code right here. So you want to highlight all of this code. And then you want to go back to your website. You can X out that tab. Double click. Then you, you see where it says embed and embed and then you want to embed a code hit control v and now around down here in the bottom it's gonna say search site g.com you don't want that you want to put your website name so i'm gonna do nebula and then you want to scroll up and about one page it's gonna tell you uh if I can find it, I have trouble finding it as well. Hmm. Right here. Your site's URL. We haven't published our website. So let's publish that right now. Let's just put in this right here. And let's fix it up. So that I have this big empty box. And now let's go and click on publish. Now, this is going to be your website address. So you put whatever you want. I'm going to put Nebula and see if it's available. Well, mine is not available. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put Nebula with 12 on it. No, I'm going to do Nebula with star. That's going to be my URL. Publish it. And let's view it. This is our published version of the website. Now you wanna you wanna here you wanna go to pages here, add one, click on done, and then you wanna hit published again. You wanna hit view, and then where the search bar is right here, you wanna click on it, type in a random letter, and then it's gonna give you this URL right here. Don't copy the whole thing. You want to delete this where it says about where it says G, which is my letter that I put, and delete that. I hit Control A on the URL bar, hit Control C, and that's how you get your that's how you get your URL for the search bar. Scroll up where it said it, where you need the URL. I'm trying to look for it right here. You want to highlight oh. You want to highlight where it says your your site URL with the with the um equal sign. Delete all of that and hit Control V. Now you have yours. Save and let's test it out. So if I go here, we have an untitled page. Let's say I want to go to that untitled page, but I can't find it. So if I type untitled, oh, I found the untitled page right here. And our, our search bar is working. There's also this corner one right here. But that corner one is going to stay. We're going to delete this. Now, for this home right here, I want to go to a custom parentheses website where it has all these custom parentheses and copy the one that you like. So over here, I'm going to copy... Most of them do have extra spaces in them. So I'm going to copy the one that have less space. So I'm going to try to. I know a lot of them do have a lot of space like this one. It has a lot of space right here. So I'm going to copy. Um, mm, I'm not going to copy any. You guys can use this. It's going to be linked in the description if you guys want some custom ones. 
And if you guys don't, then you can use the ones that are on your board. So I'm going to use the lined ones and add a space between them. Now you want to access a emojis or get some emojis. And you put a home emoji in there. And there's going to be two. I'm going to pick the one with the trees. And now that we have the home set, we're going to start adding some games. So the first thing you want to do now is actually watch part two because this is the end of part one where I got you guys set it up and I got you guys all with the home page and customizations so if you guys want a part two like like and there's of course gonna be a part two but this is part one out of all the parts next part we're gonna do add the games and customize it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like share subscribe and peace out